Hello, and welcome to this first glance at the upcoming Apple App Analytics tool, which has just come into beta for developers. I'm Ricky, and I make apps, and I just got my access to the Analytics beta a few hours ago. So let's check it out. If you're part of the beta, you'll get a new shiny App Analytics icon on your iTunes Connect front page. Clicking into that takes you to the overview screen for iOS apps. You get a quick breakdown of how many people are checking out your app in the App Store, how many actually buy it, as well as app units and sessions, which often rely on your customers having iOS 8 or having agreed to having their usage data shared back to Apple. So those numbers are interesting, but much less accurate. What it does let us do is at a glance say that in the last week, my app Pog has been viewed in the App Store about 316 times and sold about 34 times. I say about 34 because this app unit column only counts for customers who are using iOS 8, which yes, many people have updated to, but not everyone. Still, this basic screen is useful. It lets me know that about 10% of the people who look at Pog end up buying Pog. Now, Pog Cards has a much higher percentage at 24%, but as you can see, only 27 people looked at it in the last week, compared to 316 from the original Pog app. So these numbers will help me decide where I need to put in my efforts when it comes to marketing my apps. Pog Cards needs more general exposure. I need to spend more time getting the word out there. But when it comes to the original Pog app, the number of App Store views is okay, and I'm probably better off spending my time rewriting my App Store page. Maybe a more enticing app description or better screenshots, something to better convert the people who look at the app but then don't buy it. Now, that's just the initial overview page. We can get into more detail by clicking on the app. This first screen doesn't tell us much more than what we already knew from the main overview page. So we'll jump into metrics, which is a bit more interesting in that it charts how your app has been going over time, and you can do things like plot app views compared to installations, for instance, which is quite useful, though there's not much here that you couldn't already do through another service like, say, App Annie. Or if you're also an Android developer, you've had tools like this on Google Play for quite some time. But it is still nice to see these things finally in iTunes Connect. The bit that excites me the most is the ability to track where your customers are coming from. Now, my apps don't have enough data to track this yet, but soon I'll be able to see whether my customers are coming from a website that just reviewed my app or if they're from a tweet that I sent out. These are best done through a new tool called Campaigns, which lets you make custom URLs to your app with tracking codes. So if I was to do a marketing push on Pog or Pog cards, I would have one custom link to the app that I put on Facebook, and then a different link to the same app that I tweet, and a third link to the app that I give to a website that reviews kids apps. And that way, when I see a spike in sales the next week, I'll be able to track and break it down to see whether my sales mostly came from a quick and free tweet that I just sent, or from, say, a $500 banner ad that I paid for. So there you go. At a first glance, it looks like there is heaps of useful information directly from iTunes Connect that we've been waiting for for years. Now there's a lot more that I want to experiment with in custom campaign links so I can tell if my customers are coming from a tweet or from a fan page or from a press release. But to begin with, the data that exists on day one in the app analytics beta is really useful. So if you get an invite from Apple about whether you'd like to participate in the beta, Take it up, it's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.